In this chapter, we will talk about the extracystals, or in other words, it is known like the premature contractions. We will talk about all their types, about the atrial extracystal, nodal extracystal, and the ventricle extracystal. Extracystal is an extraordinary, or in other words, additional contraction of the heart. It is recorded in the case when a pathological focus appears in any part of the myocardium. This focus will also generate impulse and also excites the heart. This additional excitation will compete with the normal excitation of the myocardium and creates an impulse earlier than it would occur under normal excitation. This means that the distance RR before the extracystal is less than the distance RR between normal contractions. This will be a common symptom of all extracystals. Extracystals have their own sign on the ECG depending on the location of the pathological focus, if it is in the atria or in the AV node or in the ventricles of the heart. For example, this is an atrial extracystal and this is an ventricle extracystal. We will analyze all these types and how they look on the ECG in more details. Let's start. In the schematically presented ECG, we see how first the pulse is generated from the sinus node and then a certain focus appears in the atrium, which generates the pulse earlier than the SA node would do. This is called atrial extracystal. It is formed when an ectopic pacemaker appears in the atrium. You can call this focus as you like, ectopic focus or ectopic pacemaker. They have the same meaning. And since the excitation does not begin in the sinus node, then it does not pass along the normal conduction paths of the atria. Accordingly, the P wave will have a different shape than the other P waves of sinus origin. But when the excitation from the atria reaches the AV node, then it goes along the normal paths from the AV node along the bundle of S, then along its branches. Because of that, the QRS complex in atrial extracystals does not change at all. This means that all the QRS complexes will be the same. Now, let's summarize. Criteria for atrial extracystal Distance RR before the extracystal is less than the distance RR between normal contractions. We can see positive, negative, or two-phasic P wave which is different from other P waves. In this lead, QRS complex is not changed. Depending on the location of the pathological focus in the atria, then we will have different forms of the P wave. Let's suppose that the pathological focus is located in the upper part of the atria. In this case, the excitation will be transmitted in only one direction. It will be transmitted to the AV node along its own paths. Therefore, the ECG will record a positive P wave. But this P wave will be different from the P waves of sinus origin. In other words, the excitation spreads to the recording electrode. Now, let's consider that the pathological focus is located in the middle part of the atria. In this case, the excitation will spread in both directions, in this direction and in this direction. In other words, excitation spreads to the recording electrode and from the recording electrode. Therefore, on the ECG, a two-phase P wave will be recorded. Now, let's consider that the pathological focus is located in the lower part of the atria. Notice that the excitation spreads in only one direction, in the direction to return and excite the atria from the opposite side. In other words, excitation spreads only from the recording electrode. 
Because of that, on the ECG, a negative P wave will be recorded. In the old chapters, we considered the issue of the recording electrode. You can go and watch it. Now, let's consider an example. This is an example of an ECG with atrial extracystal. Look how distance RR before the extracystal is less than the distance RR between normal contractions. Look how P wave is different from other P waves and QRS complex is not changed. Now, let's consider another example. Notice here that the P wave is negative and the PQ segment is not seen at all. In such a type of extracystal, the pathological focus is located in the AV node. In this case, the excitation spreads in both directions, upward and along the normal conductive paths starting from the AV node. Therefore, the QRS complex does not change and the negative P wave can be recorded either before the QRS complex, either after the QRS complex, and in some times it may be not recorded at all. In such case, it will be hidden behind the QRS complex. Everything depends on in which part of the AV node the focus is located. If the pathological focus is located in the upper part of the AV node, then such an extracystal will look like a lower atrial extracystal, but differs from it in that the PQ interval is greatly shortened due to the reduced pulse delay in the AV node. This means that the pulse is slowed up in the AV node. Because of that, the PQ interval will be greatly shortened. When the focus is located in the middle part of the AV node, then the P wave is not visible at all because the QRS complex is superimposed on it. The P wave is smaller than the QRS complex, then the P wave will hide behind the QRS complex. When the focus is located in the lower part of the AV node, then the P wave can be recorded after the T wave because atrial excitation in the opposite direction will occur lately because the excitation path is oppositely through the AV node. And this remember, we said that the cells in the AV node always delay and slow up the excitation. This means that the excitation will be delayed there. It will be slow up there. And this time, the ventricles are excited. In other words, while the ectopic pulse is delayed in the AV node, then the ventricles successfully are excited, and only after that, the atria will contract. Let's consider an example. Look how P wave is negative, and the PQ interval is shortened. Then, this is an example of an ECG with a nodal extracystal from the upper part of the AV node. Let's summarize. Criteria for the AV nodal extracystal. Remember that everything depends on the location of the focus. Distance RR before the extracystal is less than the distance RR between normal contractions. P wave either negative, either absent at all or negative. PQ segment is shortened. QRS complex is not changed at all. Now, let's consider this case. Look how a big strange shape that does not look like the other QRS complexes appears. This is a ventricular extracystal, or in other words, it is known as premature ventricular contractions. In this case, the pathological focus is in the ventricles of the heart, so their excitation does not go along the normal paths which will take longer time to excite the heart. Because of that, we can notice that the QRS complex is very wide and deformed. On the ECG with the ventricular extracystal, there is no P wave in front of the QRS complex, and the QRS complex itself is expanded and deformed. It will be more than 0-12 seconds. Now, let's summarize. 
criteria for the ventricular extracystole. Distance RR before the extracystole is less than the distance RR between normal contractions. P wave is missing. QRS complex is expanded more than 0 to 12 seconds. QRS complex is deformed. Let's consider an example. This is an example of an ECG with ventricular extracystole. Notice, the extracystoles are not always located on an ECG singly. They can also be grouped together. Consider the following example. Notice how two extracystoles are paired together. This is called paired ventricular extracystoles. It is a pair arrangement of extracystoles. They follow each other. Now, let's consider another case. Look how here they alternate one by one. This is called bigemia. In other words, alternating extracystoles with normal contractions in a one by one ratio. Let's consider another case. Look how here they alternate, but one by two. This is called trigeminia. This is an alternation of extracystoles with normal contractions in a ratio of 1 by 2. Let's now consider the last case. Notice that two extracystoles appear, but notice also how they have different shapes. This means that they are polytopic or polymorphic. Polymorphic extracystoles are extracystals from various pathological ectopic foci in the heart. Notice how various pathological foci in the heart can give different shapes of extracystals.